Hi friends, in the previous class uh, you came to learn the basics of voice. In today's class you are going to learn negative type. In the examinations they will give questions from even negative type. So here is a table which can help you how to answer the questions from negative. In the examinations if you are asked any negative activities how to change them into passivize. How to find out whether it is a positive sentence or negative sentence? See, I write a story, it is a positive statement. I don't write a story, it is called a negative statement. See, for example, if it is a positive statement, what is your answer? I write a story. A story is written by me. That is the passive for positive statement. But it is not positive statement, it is a negative statement. I don't write a story. So, whenever you see this negative form, not should be written after the helping verb. A story, and I don't write a story. This is activize. The passive is, a story is not written by me. For example, uh, subject is we here. We means it becomes us. I becomes a me. So, there will be changes in pronouns. So, for example, if the activizer starts with I, the passivizer should end with me. If the activizer starts uh, with we, the passivizer should end with us. If the activizer starts with you, the passivizer should end with you. If the activizer starts with they, the passivizer should end with them. If the activizer starts with he, the passivizer should end with him. If the activizer starts with she, the passivizer should end with her. So, like this, there will be some changes in pronouns. Pronouns should not be written as it is in the passivize. Whenever you see I, that should become, uh, that should be changed into me. I becomes me, we becomes us, you becomes you, they becomes them, he becomes him, she becomes her. For example, one name is there. <coughs> Pradeep is there. Pradeep does not write a story. So, Pradeep is a noun. So, nouns should not be changed. Nouns should be written as it is. A story is not written by Pradeep. There will not be any changes in nouns, but there will be changes only in pronouns. Whenever you see I, we, you, they, he, she, you should change them. Right, friends. Here, I do not write a story. Uh, in this act wise, object is singular. So, that is what a story is not written by me. For example, uh, let us see that, uh, let us think that it is a plural object. I do not write stories. Stories is plural. So, stories are, singular means a story is plural. Stories, stories are not written by me. The, sa uh, the same subject you can just imagine the same sentence with the subject we. We becomes us. For example, you. You becomes you. They. Them. He. Him. She. Her. For example, uh, Kiran. That becomes the same. Kiran only. There won't be any changes in nouns. This sentence has been given from simple present tense. So, this table from tenses. Eight tenses only can be changed into passivizes. This is from simple present tense. This is from present continuous. This is from present perfect tense. This is from simple past. This is from past continuous. This is from past perfect tense. This is from simple future tense. This is from future perfect tense. So, like this, eight tenses orderly have been given here. So, this is from simple present tense. So, friends, in the examinations, if they give negative statements from simple present tense, this is the process of changing into passivize. If they give singular object, uh, that object should start with a singular helping verb is. If they give plural object, stories or books or any plural object, so R should be taken here. R should be taken. So, whenever you see either don't or doesn't in the activize, whenever you see either don't or doesn't in the activize, the passivizer should be started with either is or are, is or are, A R E R. So, if the singular object is there, no, you can start with is. If you find out any plural object, R should be used. 
Okay, for example, let's take one more subject. He, he don't write a story is wrong. He doesn't. For he, she, and any singular, we should use doesn't. He doesn't write a story. The passive is, is a story is not written by him. One more example. She doesn't watch TV. She doesn't watch TV. So after I, we, you, they, we should use don't. After I, we, you, they, and any plural subject. I don't, we don't, you don't, they don't, my friends don't. My brothers don't. Like that. So for he, she, and any singular subject. Okay. Doesn't should be used. He doesn't write. She doesn't write. Srikanth doesn't write. Malesh doesn't write. Shiva doesn't write. Jagadish doesn't write. Manasa doesn't write. So like that. Next, let's take present continuous tense. I am not writing a story. So I am writing a story. This is also present continuous but positive statement. I am, for example, I am writing a story. Answer is a story is being written by me. I have already told you that whenever you find out ing form in the active ways, being should be used in the passive ways. Is it a positive sentence or negative sentence? See, whenever you find out not after the helping verb, that is called a negative sentence. So how to change negative sentences? See, I am not writing a story. A story is not being written by me. Those who are good at how to change positive statements into negative statements, uh, it will become very easy for you. Same, but not should be used after the helping verb. In the previous class, I explained several times how to change positive statements into negative. If you are very good at those sentences, you can easily change these all negative sentences into passive ways. Just not should be written. In every sentence after the helping verbs, not should be mentioned, that's it. I am not writing a story. A story is not being written by me. For example, stories. I am not writing stories, plural object. Stories, stories are not being written by me. Let's take another subject. For example, subject is here, uh, Prabhakar. Prabhakar is not writing a story. A story is not being written by Prabhakar. For example, plural. Sarita is not writing stories. Different subject with plural object. Sarita is not writing stories. Answer is, stories are not being written by Sarita. So like that you can take any subject, friends. If, if you find out a singular object, here is should be taken. If you find out a plural object, R should be taken. Next, let's take present perfect tense. I have not written a story. How can you find out it is uh, present perfect tense? Whenever you find out have, has and the main verb, if the main verb is in the third form, you can uh, treat that, that sentence is from present perfect to tense. I have not written a story. So singular object is there. So a story has not been written by me. For example, plural object, stories. I have not written stories. Stories have not been written by me. You can change the subject. For example, here the subject is Kalyan. Kalyan has not written a story. A story has not been written by Kalyan. So like that. Next, simple past tense. I did not write a story. Which tense it is? Is it simple present tense or simple past? Simple past. See, whenever you find out a did, did is the helping verb which is used only in simple past tense. See, I did not write a story. It is a sentence. It is a negative sentence from simple past. Now, let's see how to change this negative sentence, how to change it into passive ways. See, friends, whenever you see uh, did in the active ways, so in the passive ways, either was or were should be used. Please don't forget it. Whenever you find out did in the active eyes, in that passive eyes, either was or were should be used. If you find out a singular object, you should use was. If you find out a plural object, were should be used. For any singular object, 
was should be used for any plural object was should be used right i did not write a story so a story is a singular object so answer is a story was not written by me for example plural i did not write stories i did not write stories so in this sentence the object is plural so for plural subject which helping verb should be taken were so here we can call them b form so stories stories were not written by me let's change the subject now we are going to change the subject with uh, with other subjects let's practice kartik did not write a story a story was not written by kartik you can take any subject you can take any subject okay so if you take the different different pronouns you can find out some changes but if you take the nouns there won't be any changes in nouns nouns should be written as it is if the active is uh, starts with kiran the passive is also should end with kiran only we should not change the nouns but we should change the pronouns if the active is starts with i the passive is should end with me so like that friends uh, let's see another tense that is past continuous tense i was not writing a story it is a sentence which has been given from past continuous tense how can you find out it is a past continuous sentence see whenever you find out the helping verbs like was or were and ing form that is called a past uh, that is called a past continuous sentence i was not writing a story it is a sentence it is a negative sentence of past continuous tense so in the previous class you came to learn that how to change all the positive sentences from past continuous into passive wise same see if i close it it becomes a positive statement i was writing a story a story was not being written by me so it is negative after the helping verb if you add not that becomes a negative sentence so even in the passive wise also after the helping verb not should be written so dear friends if you are very good at positive sentences how to change uh, positive sentences into passive wises you can easily change the negative sentences also into passive wise see i was not writing a story a story was not being written by me why did we use the being whenever we use ing form in the active wise being should be used in the passive wise next for example let's take a plural object sanjay was reading books sanjay was reading books this is another example plural object the sentence which contains a plural object sanjay was not sanjay was not reading books negative statement sanjay was not reading books books were not being read by sanjay next one more example with plural object for example subject is sujatha sujatha was not asking doubts the passive wise is doubts were not being asked by sujatha okay one more example raju a sentence with singular sub, singular object raju was wa raju was not watching tv raju was not watching tv answer is tv was not being watched by raju one more example manasa was not right not watching tv tv was not being watched by manasa like that these are the examples from past continuous tense next let's see past perfect tense i had not written a story how can you find out it is this is the sentence of past perfect tense see had whenever you find out had and the main if the main verb is in the third form so that sentence is from past perfect tense i had not written a story okay it is a negative sentence of past perfect tense now we are going to change this into passive wise a story had not been written by me so friends in the previous class i told you that whenever you find out have has or had in the active wise been should be written in the 
passive wise been should be written see i had not written a story so object uh, the passive wise should be started with object a story had not here the active wise is i had not written a story a story had not been written by me so friends from past perfect tense if you see a plural object or singular object there won't be any changes in the passive wise because in past perfect tense there is only one helping verb that is had so had can be used for singular and plural object i am going to give you one beautiful example for example shravani had not asked a doubt shravani had not asked a doubt a doubt had not been asked by shravani so doubt is a singular object okay now let's see with plural object sujatha had not asked doubts sujatha had not asked doubts answer is doubts had not been asked by sujatha see whenever you see a, an activize from past perfect tense if that activize contains either singular object or plural object in the passive wise you cannot find out any changes for the singular and plural object had only should be written had been had been next simple future i won't won't friends uh, let's see a new tense that is simple future tense i won't write a story won't means will place not will place not is called won't short form of will place not i won't write a story it is a negative statement of simple future tense now we are going to change into passive wise so i have already told you several times that the passive wise should be started with object a story will not be written by me so friends one important point here whenever you see any sentence from simple future if that active wise contains either singular object or plural object there won't be any changes in the passive wise for example uh, this sentence contains a singular object story is a singular object so a story will not be written by me that is the answer for example let's see the same sentence with plural object i won't write stories i won't write stories a stories we should not say indefinite articles either a or an should be used only before singulars so stories it's a plural word a stories we should not write stories only uh, i won't write stories so the answer is the passive wise is stories will not be written by me that's it you cannot find out any changes even in past perfect tense also i had not written a story or i had not written stories so whether the sentence from past perfect tense or simple future if those sentences contain either singular objects or plural object there won't be any changes in the passive wise next let's see future perfect tense i will not have written a story so will you have or shall you have plus v3 verb third form means that is from future perfect tense i will not have written a story it is a singular object even in future perfect tense also if the active wise contains either a singular object or plural object there won't be any changes in the passive wise so a story will not have been written by me plural i will not have written stories same stories will not have been written by me so friends this is the table of eight tenses from negative type so once again i am going to explain all the tenses this is from simple present tense this is from present continuous this is from present perfect this is from simple past this is from past continuous tense this is from past perfect tense this is from simple future and the last one is from future perfect tense so in simple present tense how can you find out it is a negative sentence of simple present tense see friends whenever you find out either don't or doesn't in the negative sentence that is called a simple present tense negative statement okay next whenever you find out 
am is or plus not that is a negative sentence of present continuous i am not we are not you are not they are not he is not she is not here after i we you they don't after he she and any singular subject doesn't so when you whenever you find out either don't or doesn't in the sentence that is a negative sentence or negative statement of simple present tense whenever you find out am not or is not or are not those are the statements or sentences of present continuous whenever you find out have not or has not have not or has not such sentences are called negative statements of present perfect tense next whenever you find out did not did place not that is a negative sentence of simple past whenever you find out was not or were not these sentences from past continuous next when you find out had not that is called a past perfect tense sentence will not or shall not will not becomes won't shall not becomes shan't so you can think that such sentences from simple future next will not have or shall not have those sentences from future perfect tense so friends with the uh, help of the helping verbs only you can find out the name of the tenses so this is something about a negative type of uh, active wise and passive wise friends uh, let's learn another type that is a third type of active wise and passive wise that is called interrogative type means in the examinations they will give you some sentences from active wise questions will be given questions will be given see do you ask a doubt do you ask a doubt so here up to simple future i have given tense wise this is from simple present tense this is from present continuous this is from present perfect tense this is from simple past this is from past continuous this is from past perfect this is from simple future this is from modal verbs can could we can could shall should will would like that the last one from modal verbs not it is not a tense so friends now let's see how to change interrogative activities into passivities very simple do you ask a doubt so friends whenever the activities starts with either do or does the passivities should be started with am is or once again i'm going to tell you when the activities starts with either do or does the passivities should always start with am is or so if that activities contains a singular object the passivities should be started with is if the given activities contains a plural object the passivities should be started with or uh, do you ask a doubt it is a simple present tense sentence friends how to find out whether it is simple present tense or simple past see do and does so whenever you see either do or does you can think that such sentences from simple present tense in simple present tense there are two helping verbs they are do and does so if any sentence starts with either do or does you can think that they are from simple present tense so whenever you see an activities which starts with either do or does you should start the passive is with am is or only am is or so it depends upon the object if there is a singular object is should be used here if there is any plural object or should be used <coughs> let's see the same sentence with plural object do you ask doubts uh, do you ask doubts doubts plural so or doubt means is if the singular object is there is should be used if the plural object is there are should be used are doubts asked by you let's see another subject for example he so does he ask a doubt does he not do he do should be used before i we you they and any plural object do you ask a doubt do they ask a doubt do your friends ask a doubt like that so does should be used before singulars like he she and any singular name does he ask a doubt does she ask a doubt does shubhash ask a doubt does sudhir ask a doubt does raghu ask a doubt like that for example if we add all the names subhash raghu and sudhir so plural do subhash sudhir and raghu 
ask a doubt so like that friends so before i we you the and any plural subjects we should use do before he she it and any singular subject does it should be used does he for example does he ask a doubt is a doubt asked by him she means does she ask a doubt is a doubt asked by her like that this is these are the examples of simple present tense interrogative sentences next are they asking doubts are they asking doubts it is an active sentence that's fine is it positive or negative or interrogative type see if this active is starts with the subject where is the subject here there is the subject here they are asking doubts for example this is called positive type sentence they are asking doubts negative type means they are not asking doubts interrogative type means are they asking doubts that is called interrogative type so friends in present continuous tense interrogative sentences always start with am is or so friends in the examinations whenever you find out an active is which ends with question mark first you should find out whether it is an interrogative sentence means whether it is yes or no type question or wh type question so if any question starts with helping verb that is called as yes or no type question so in english yes or no type questions start with helping verbs see are they asking doubts which tense it is present continuous how can you find out it is called a present continuous tense so whenever you find out the helping verbs like am is or plus ing form v1 plus ing form so such sentences are called as present continuous again whether it is positive or negative see question mark is there it is an interrogative sentence shall we change into passive as now yes see friends so before going to change this active as into passive as you should find out whether the, whether the object is singular or plural so doubts plural object so <coughs> friends again when the active as starts with am is or the passive as also should be started with am is or here important point just two minutes ago what i told you if the active as starts with do or does the passive as should be started with am is or i told you again i am going to tell you the passive as also should be started with am is or when when the active as starts with am is or the passive as also should be started with am is or right uh, so doubts plural are doubts are doubts why should we use being whenever we find out ing form in the active as being should be used in the passive as so are doubts being asked by them so here the subject is they they becomes them for example he is there is he asking doubts he becomes him for example she is there is she asking doubts she becomes her for example i is there am i asking doubts i becomes me okay for example singular is there are they asking a doubt doubt singular so is is a doubt being asked by them like that let's see another tense that is present perfect tense has he asked a doubt it is a sentence from present perfect tense how can you find out friends in any sentence if you find out either have or has and the verb which is in the third form that sentence is from present perfect tense so in present perfect tense yes or no type uh, i'm so interrogative sentences start with either have or has only two helping verbs are there in present perfect tense they are have and has see has he asked a doubt has he asked a doubt see before i we you the and any plural subjects have should be used in the beginning of the sentence before he she and any singular subject has should be used see has he asked have you asked have they asked has she asked has a student has has a student asked for example students plural have students asked so friends for a singular subject has should be used for plural subjects have should be used has he asked a doubt here object is singular so 
for singular objects has for plural objects have should be used so friends when the active is starts with either have or has even the passive is also should be started with have or has it's important hint i can say if the active is starts with do or does the passive is should be started with am is or only if the active is starts with am is or even the passive is also should be started with am is or when the active is starts with either have or has even the passive is also should be started with have or has don't forget it's important hint if the active is starts with have or has even the passive is also should be started with have or has in the competitive exams questions will be given like this for example has he taken breakfast has he taken breakfast this question has been given in the examination whatever the exam you are going to write in any competitive exams questions will be given like this has he taken breakfast uh, so this sentence has started with has so the passive is also should be started with have or has only you should not start with any other helping verb so in the examination after giving one question four options will be given so among those four options which option is going to be started with either have or has you should find out if you know this technique you can save the time the question is has he taken breakfast in the examination this question has been given that question is has he taken breakfast four options are there option a is breakfast being taken by him option b are breakfast being taken by him option c has breakfast been taken by him option d had breakfast been taken by him so which one c option c has he has breakfast been taken by him so friends when they give options like that you should observe which option has started with either have or has so whatever the option has started with either have or has that may be the that is the answer for example option a has started with has option b has started with have so you should find out if the singular object is there that should be started with has if the plural object is there that should be started with have friends let's see example from simple past in the examination they may give an interrogative sentence from any tense eight tenses are there totally there are 12 tenses but from only eight tenses questions will be asked so here is a question from simple past how can you know that it is from simple past in simple past an interrogative sentence always starts with did if whatever the subject it may be okay before any subject we can use it it before i we you they he she singular and plural any subject should be started with did in simple past for example did you watch that movie did they watch that movie did he watch that movie did she watch that movie did a student watch that movie did students watch that movie so friends in simple past any question any interrogative sentence starts with did only whatever the subject it may be so did she ask a doubt or did he ask a doubt or did they ask a doubt so like that there won't be any changes but here it's not like that do you ask a doubt do they ask a doubt uh, he does he she does she see there are some changes let's see in present continuous are they asking doubts are you asking doubts for example he is he helping verbs are going to be changed she is she let's see in present perfect tense can we find out any changes or not has he asked okay has she asked fine for example subject is you has you is wrong have you asked for example subject is they has they is wrong how they so we can find some changes in simple present tense in present continuous in present perfect tense friends in simple past we cannot find any changes whatever the subject it is whether it is singular or plural okay any subject before any subject you can use did in simple past there is only one helping verb so did she ask a doubt now we are going to change this active as into passive as friends i am going to give you another technique here whenever the active is 
starts with did the passive is should always be started with was or were please remember if the active is starts with did the passive is should be started with either was or were only no other helping verb should be used here if you know this technique in the examination you can save the time for example you have been asked a question did you attend a function yesterday this is the question in the examination did you attend a function yesterday this question has started with did so four options will be given one option may be started with uh, uh, am is or, or another option may be started with will or can or should so different options will be started with different helping verbs so you should find out whenever you see such questions which start with did whatever the option has started either with was or were answer may be there itself for example two options are there one option has started with was another option start has started with were so in the given active is if the singular ob if the object is singular that answer should be started with was in the given sentence if the plural object is there the answer should be started with were so like that friends whenever the active is starts with either uh, when the active is starts with did the passive is should always be started with was or were so did she ask a doubt was a doubt asked by her for example plural object did she ask doubts uh, doubts plural plural were were doubts asked by her you can change the subject any subject for example they did they ask a doubt or did they watch a movie or did they take dinner for example did they take dinner dinner is singular was dinner taken by them so like that friends next let's see past continuous tense was subash asking a doubt it is a question from past continuous how can you find out this is from past continuous what are the helping verbs in past continuous there are two helping verbs in past continuous they are was and were so friends in the sentences whether it is a positive or negative or interrogative sentence if you find out either was or were and inform to the main verb that sentence is from past continuous so was subash asking a doubt it is a question from past continuous tense so uh, with what it has started it has been started this active is has started with was friends when the active is starts with either was or were even the passive is also should be started with either was or were please remember it's an important point whenever the active is starts with either was or were even the passive is also should be started with was or were uh, then passive is with was or were means it depends upon the object in the active is if the active is contains a singular object the passive is should be started with singular helping verb we can call them we can call this word like a b form also right so singular was a doubt being asked by subash for example plural was subash asking doubts plural object what is the plural helping verb in past continuous were were doubts being asked by subash let's see one more tense here that is past perfect tense had ragu asked a doubt it is an active ways so before going to change this active ways into passive ways you should find out which tense it is see it is from past perfect tense friends how can you find out this is from past perfect tense so in this sentence had is there and uh, the main verb is in the third form had ragu asked a doubt this is from past perfect tense how can you find out it is from past perfect tense friends when you find out had and uh, the third form of the verb in one sentence you can uh, think that 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 sentence is from past perfect tense in the past perfect tense there is only one helping verb that is had so had ragu asked a doubt now we are going to change this into passive ways here i am going to tell you another beautiful technique please remember don't forget it friends 
whenever the active eyes starts with had even the passive eyes also should be started with had only in that active eyes if the if the object is singular or plural no problem at all even if that sentence contains a singular object or plural object the passive eyes should be started with had only please remember because in past perfect tense there is only one helping verb for singulars and plurals had only should be used once again i am going to tell you it's a beautiful technique which helps you a lot when the active eyes starts with had even the passive eyes also should be started with had it helps you in the examination while you are writing exams you have seen a question which has started with had four options will be given so one option uh, may start with has another option may start with have one option may start with was or were or there is one option which has started with had that may that is the answer for example for example two two options are there which have been started with had there is no chance at all because in past perfect tense for plural object or singular object had only should be used so if the active eyes starts with had the passive eyes should all should also be started with had please remember that there won't be any changes for singulars and plurals had ragu asked a doubt answer is had a doubt been asked by ragu plural had ragu asked doubts had doubts been asked by ragu here we have used been i have already told you when i was teaching basics of active eyes and passive eyes when should we use been i have explained very clearly once again i am going to explain when should we use been when should we use being when the active eyes contains ing form we should use being in the passive eyes when the active eyes contains have has had we should use been in the passive so had is there that's what we used been next here is a sentence will sudhir ask a doubt okay it is a question from which tense it is how to find out will is there whenever you find out either shall or will in any sentence and uh, apart from shall or will you should also find out the first form of the verb here ask ask is the first form of the verb so shall or will plus one first form of the verb if these are available in one sentence you can treat that sentence is from simple future tense so will sudhir ask a doubt so friends whenever the active eyes starts with will even the passive eyes also should be started with will if the object is singular or plural there won't be any changes if the active eyes starts with will even the passive eyes also should be started with will please remember this technique will sudhir ask a doubt singular object answer is will a doubt be asked by sudhir for example plural object will sudhir ask doubts plural object no changes there won't be any changes uh, because will can be used for singular objects and plural objects please don't think that shall should be used for singular objects will should be used for plural objects it's not like that will can be used for plural and singular objects so will sudhir ask doubts will doubts be asked by sudhir so friends from here to here we have practiced with seven tenses here is an example from modal verbs modal verbs means shall should will would can could may might so friends in the examination whenever you happen to see a question from modal verbs modal verbs or models like can could may might shall should will would like that so if the active eyes starts with can even the passive eyes also should be started with can if the active eyes starts with could the passive eyes also should be started with could if the active eyes starts with should the passive eyes also should be started with should so whatever the uh, model verb is used in the beginning of the sentence even the passive eyes also should be started with the same model verb if the active eyes starts with can the passive eyes also should be started with can could means could should means should may means may like that so can you write 
a story. I have told you, you no, know, even the passive is also should be started with can. Can a story be written by you? For example, let us see plural object. Can we find out any changes? No, not at all. Can, can should be used for singular and plural objects. Can you write stories? Can stories be written by you? Like this friends. Let us take one more example. Should you write a story? Should a story be written by you? Even for plural also. Should you write stories? Should stories be written by you? Like that. Friends, this is the table of interrogative type. So, this is from simple present tense. In simple present tense, questions start with either do or does. This is from present continuous. In present continuous, questions start with am, is, are. This sentence is from present perfect tense. Uh, in present perfect tense, questions start with have or has. This is from simple past. In simple past, the questions always start with did. This is from past continuous. In past continuous, there are two helping verbs, they are was and were. In past perfect tense, there is only one helping verb that is had. This is simple future, will. These are from model verbs, can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might like that, even must. So, this is the table of interrogative type. It will help you a lot because in the examinations, so sometimes they will give you positive statements. Sometimes they may give negative statements. Some other times they may also give interrogative sentence like this. So, friends, if the active is ends with a question mark, even the passive is also should end with question mark. Please don't forget it. So, in the active is, so whatever the category of helping verb is there, which belongs to that tense, the same tense helping verbs only should be used in the passive is. Friends, here is another type in active is passive is that is called wh type. So, you are, uh, some of you may think. In the examination, only positive questions will be given. Please do not think like that. In small examinations like SSE intermediate, some positive or negative sentence, sentences will be given. But in competitive exams, so from any type they may give questions. They may give a question from positive type or negative type, interrogative type or wh type. So far you have learnt positive sentence type, positive type, negative type and the interrogative type also. So, now let us learn how to change activizes into passivizes from wh type. So, friends, if you are good at interrogative type, it will become very easy. See, if I close this wh word, it becomes an interrogative sentence, interrogative type. If I close all these wh words, friends, you can imagine this table without wh words like why, 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 how, where, how, why and when. If you close all the wh words, again this table will become an interrogative type. So, friends, if you learn very well interrogative type, this wh type questions will become very easy for you. See, uh, for example, do you eat a banana? Is it an interrogative type or not? Do you eat a banana. Interrogative, in interrogative type, every question starts with helping verbs. Helping verbs. See, do or does from simple present tense. See, if you learn interrogative sentence, wh, uh, wh type question becomes very easy for you. See, just the only difference is wh word is there. If I close this, it is called an interrogative sentence. Do you eat a banana? Answer is is a banana, is a banana eaten by you. So, now, why do you eat banana? Just one wh word is there. You can add the same wh word here. Why? So, if the active is starts with what or where or when or why or how, so whatever the wh word is written here in the beginning of the active is, even the passive is also should be started with the same wh word. If the active is starts with what, the passive is also should be started with what. If the active is starts with where, the passive is also should be started with where. If the active is starts with how, the passive is also should be started with how. So, friends, if whatever the active is, 
starts with uh, whatever the WH type it is. If the active way starts with what or where or when or why or how, even the passive is also should be started with the same WH type words. So, you do not need to learn WH type especially. If you are very good at uh, interrogative type, it becomes very easy for you. See, if I close these two words, it becomes an interrogative type. Do you eat a banana? Is a banana eaten by you? See, just WH word is there, that is it. So, why do you eat a banana? It is from simple present tense. How can you find out? If the helping verbs like do or does are available in this sentence, you can think that it is from simple present tense. So, again the passive is also should be started with why. So, why is a banana? Banana is a singular. Banana is a singular. So, that is what is should be used. For example, object is plural, bananas, then R should be used. So, it is singular object. So, why is a banana eaten by you? So, here eat is there, there eaten is there. So, friends, in the active ways, the verb can be in the first form or second form or in the third form, but the passive eyes should always contain the third form of the verb. So, this is from simple present tense. Why do you eat bananas? Plural. Why do you eat bananas? Why are bananas eaten by you? You can take uh, subject she. Why does she? Why does she eat a banana? Why is a banana eaten by her? Like that. Next, am is our placing form means it is present continuous. See, if I close it, again it becomes interrogative type. Is she eating bananas or bananas? Are bananas being eaten by her? That is called interrogative type. See, now double H type. See friends, for the interrogative sentence, for, the, for any interrogative sentence, if you add any double H word, that becomes double H type question, that is it. Why is she eating bananas? Ink form is there. So, why are bananas being eaten by her? For example, singular object is there. Why is she eating banana? Why is banana being eaten by her? Next here, present perfect tense, have has. Place with means present perfect tense. Why has he taken your book? Why has your book been taken by him? So, whenever we find out have or has or had in that ways, been should be written in the past ways. For example, plural object is there, books. Books means here have should be used. Why have your books been taken by you? So, if the subject is he, there him should be used. If the subject is you, you only. If the subject is they, that becomes them. I becomes me. So, like that. Next, how did they watch a movie? This is simple past. So, in simple past, if the singular or uh, plural object, no changes. How was a movie watched by them? For example, in the active ways, you, you cannot find out changes, but in the passive ways, there will be some changes. If the active ways contains a singular object, was should be used. If the active ways contains plural object, war should be used. Movies means war. Next, where was he taking lunch? Past continuous. So, where was lunch being taken by him? So, ing form is there, that is what we used being. Even in past continuous also, for plural object, what should be used. How can you, these are models, how can you write books? So, whenever you find out models like can, should uh, and will, uh, whether it is a singular object or plural object, you cannot find out any changes in the passive ways. So, how can you write books or how can you write a book? How can books or how can book be written by you? Why should she sing a song? Why should a song be sung by her? Even songs also, there won't be any change. Why should songs be sung by her? When will they attend the function? This is from simple future. Uh, so, even in simple future also, if this object is singular or plural, there won't be any changes in the passive. So, when will the function be attended by them? So, friends, if you learn the basics well, in the previous classes, I taught uh, very slowly about the basics of active ways, passive ways. If you are very good at uh, the basics of active ways and passive ways, negative type and uh, interrogative type and uh, double H type, these all will become very easy for you. I hope you understood very well.
So in the examinations they may give questions from positive type, negative type, interrogative type and double H type. So friends if you are very good at all these topics you can answer very well in the examinations. I hope you understood very well. I thank you very much.